brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. A chaotic scene expanding from Barragata up towards Dededo early Friday. This high-speed chase all started at the House of Liberty game room after a security guard called police. Dispatches uh, called another individual with uh, a weapon went to the side of Liberty House. Police officers are heard talking to 911 dispatchers as the suspect takes off. Responding officers one by one are overheard detailing their close encounter with the suspect. That's the first time cops report the suspect opening fire as they gave chase. The man then leading police toward Harmon Loop Road and up towards Marine Corps Drive to Dededo and Jigo. Uh, he's then back down to Dededo again. It's at this point one officer giving chase is injured after a bullet shatters his patrol window, the glass going into his eye. For nearly half an hour, the chase went on until the suspect stopped at Chalon Langit in Dededo. Cell phone video captures the final moments as shots rang out. The suspect is taken down. GPD Chief of Police Jay Cruz briefed media Friday afternoon. While it is unfortunate that a life was taken, we did what we needed to do. Chief Cruz says the officer injured during the chase has since been treated and is doing okay. Two officers have since been put on administrative leave as the investigation into the shooting gets underway. Neither of their names are being released. However, Cruz admits his guys did everything by the book. That officer, I will tell you, did exactly what he was trained to do. That officer relied, um, so, relied solely on his training, his experience, as did all the officers uh, who were involved in this incident. In my honest opinion, the Guam Police Department and the actions of those officers were very professional this morning. Meantime, a cop car remains parked outside the Barragata game room just steps away from Lee Falconberry's home. He recalls waking up to the large police presence outside. It's a little concerning, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to kind of mind my own business. Hopefully there's, uh, hopefully it doesn't make a habit of that happening again. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola has identified the suspect as Stephen Seagraves. However, it's unclear if the gun he used during the shootout was in fact registered to him. It's been nearly a decade since the last GPD officer involved shooting. Chief Cruz says mechanisms are in place to assist his officers still shaking up. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusi Nick Delgado. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.